do film strength testers tell the truth? Do the results really correlate to an actual engine? For the last 50 years or so, this device has been used to test motor oils and additives. Unfortunately, those results don't always correlate with what actually happens in a real engine. Okay, new bearing in race installed. Time for the regular Castrol GTX. So the regular GTX only got to three weights before it seized up. Let's take a look at that wear scar. So what we're looking at is a three-dimensional trace of the surface roughness of the cylinder liner section that ran in that TE77 ring on liner test. Essentially, this is a wear scar trace from top to bottom. Imagine taking a sample top to bottom of that liner right down the middle, and you can see the red ends on both sides are where it's not run, and the area in between is where the piston ring was rubbing, and this is with the gear oil. So this is the amount of wear on that piston ring and liner section with the oil that did the best in the bearing tester. And you can see where there's more wear near the ends where the piston ring is slowing down and getting into that boundary condition. Because you can see all three stages of lubrication. And what you can see here from these results, that balance between the calcium and the phosphorus is the key to anti-wear protection. This device doesn't tell you the truth about additives or motor oils for an actual engine. I know this video might be controversial and it might hurt some feelings, but I'd have been a fraud and a hypocrite if I didn't make it. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.